What is up guys, UCS Cause with Adventure here, back to you with another Killer Kill If Related video. A year ago, I made a top 10 facts about the game. Even though it may seem outdated, but I can reassure you that some of the information in that video is still relevant, and I highly recommend that you guys check it out as well. Without further ado, let's begin my top 5 facts about Kill Kill If. Featuring Dante from Devil May Cry series, and Knuckles. Do it, Crimson! All I need is love. Number five, if you guys or gals have been around my channel long enough, you already know that Maka has been revealed to be a playable character in the roster, along with Ikuro and Sumagu in the Ultimate DTR. Not only that, but they're both coming to the game as free DLC, and they're coming on launch day. So overall, we'll have 12 playable characters at launch. <laughs> Number four, about the roster in question, the dual wheel versions of Ryuko and Sasuke are already available once you start playing it. Just go to that character and you'll be able to select those versions by pressing either L1 or R1. You may also notice two lock spots on the opposite sides. Well, as you can probably tell, those spots are for New and Yoragio. They'll need to be unlocked from playing through the game story mode, so that's something to look forward to. Number 3. Regarding the story mode, as some of you may already know, you'll be able to play through a What If original story mode starring Sasuke Kuriri, but once you complete it, you'll be able to play a Ryoko side with its own original story, both written by a series scenario writer Kazuki Nakashima. Man, they're really not shying away from the Sonic Adventure 2 stories, huh? Number 2. As for unlockables besides Ragyo and Nui, you'll be able to unlock more stuff from its in-game currency, such as songs from either the game or from the anime, voice lines from the game, you can also find special messages by the voice actors or actresses for the fans. Last but not least, you'll be able to unlock poses and facial expressions for the 3D digital figures in which you can get creative and possibly recreate scenes from the game or from within the anime itself. Shoot if possible, I would love to see some of your guys creations when you get your hands on it. Number 1. You're probably wondering to yourself, since Junketsu Shinsui and Senketsu Kizuragi is shown to be in the game story mode, will they be playable outside of the story mode? Although I may not be certain about the Senkensu Kisaragi part of it, but what's said about his Junkensu Shinsui could possibly happen. Check out this clip here, or if I let me let Keanu Reeves do it. Keanu, if you don't mind. Then check this out. So I think it's already up on the official website, but it is a uh, very extreme and shocking version of Sasuke. <laughs> um, yes, yes. Yes, that I think, you know, some of you might know. And it, it currently only shows up in the story mode, so you have to play through that mm -hmm. to, to see it. And pending, you know, demand, we'll see if it'll be, uh, be playable. <laughs> cool. Yes. Cool. That's pretty exciting. And there you have it, my top five facts about Killer Kill If. If you have any questions, leave them in the comments below, and I will answer if I have knowledge of it or not. Also, if you enjoyed the video, be sure to leave a like, share this video with your peeps, and if you're new to the channel, be sure to hit that subscribe button and ring that notification bell for more Killer Kill If content or whatever else I do. There's also a link to the Kill Kill If Discord server if you want to come chill and hang out with me or any other members of the server. And with that out of the way, I'm going to end this video right here. Sure, it may be short, but then at the same time, there's no reason to drag it on. This is UCS Crimson Avenger, and don't lose your way. Peace.